what's going on everyone, Striker here. Today's video is going to be how to make a survival server. This is very similar to my other video of how to make a skyblock server, but you guys have been requesting of a survival setup to showcase and sort of give my opinions and tips and tricks of how you can incorporate this to your own server. Uh, so that is what we're going to be doing today, and this specific setup is already pre-made, has all these amazing features and all these builds, so that will be linked down in the description. You guys can go buy it there. Highly recommend this guys is actually very very fun and unique this is geared toward 1.16 so it has all the fun 1.16 features so first things first to start out at the base feature for any type of server you want to select your theme as well as builds that go along with that specific theme whether that's going to be a pre-made setup uh, like this one or if you're making it yourself select the theme that you want i really like this theme that he has chosen it's kind of like a island survival or pirate survival server as you see we have various islands, you know, you have your ships, pirate ships, you have skulls, uh, you have, you know, various NPC character skins that is also pirate themed as well, and so the various shops, so uh, all this ties in together, so that is where you want to start out as the base, and if you guys need any type of custom builds, be sure you check out Odyssey Builds, they can hook you up with some great custom builds for your server, so make sure you guys go check them out, so their build shop will be down in the description, and make sure you guys go check it out. So once you have selected your theme, start adding your builds you can go ahead and start adding survival plugins and one thing i do recommend is adding grief prevention some sort of wild teleport as well as custom terrain and so once you're teleported into the world i do recommend having custom terrain because it just honestly does look a lot nicer than just the default minecraft uh and look at these giant cheese over here those do look pretty cool so you get a ton of uh wood from them and probably one of the biggest survival plugins I recommend is having grief prevention. Basically allows your players to be able to claim sections of land and uh, basically so players can't grief them and they can change various flags within them. Basically just protect themselves and all their items that they have. So once you have your key components for your survival server, you can start adding additional fun things. And probably the, the five key components I personally like are quest, uh, player jobs, you also have skills as well as pets and those those also help keep a uh, player retention so besides of just you know making a survival house that gives your players ability to level up their skills you can also do skill trees for the specific pets so that gives uh, your player something else to strive for you know level up their armor along with that you have custom enchants as well as custom items and custom recipes so it all goes hand in hand together guys you know help keep players on your server make it fun and unique for a survival server and this setup does a great job of implementing all those things all into a nice uh, informational GUI. Personally, I think a customized help menu or help GUI is one of the best things that you can have for your server because it sort of lists all the information all right there where players can click on them. They can see all the different features and then that sort of determines, hey, I want to stick around this server because that offers a lot more features than, you know, this other survival server, etc. In addition to those fun plugins, if you want to make your survival server even more unique and more spicy for your players, you can add a mining as well as dungeons. And that is what this setup does so well well is it has a very unique mining system basically tier mining system and dungeons i actually really enjoy the dungeons because it allows for players to be able to come back to the server and try to gain and beat the bosses in those dungeons and mines in the deep caverns of the mines, you can find multiple unique zombies to fight and gain your levels and abilities. One thing I love about this custom mining system is that it is tiered depending on whatever type of level that you want. Very similar to how Hypixel's mining system is, but I actually really enjoy this for a survival server because it just adds a different twist in the mining game and allows for custom mobs to be added into those mines as well. And with that being said, that kind of concludes my how to make a survival server. I hope you guys did understand and sort of get some ideas of how to start your own survival server and sort of the ways that might make it a little bit more pleasing for your players to uh, actually join and play on your server. But this specific setup will be linked down in the description if you guys want to go purchase that for yourself. But other than that, make sure you like, subscribe, share a video around. It really does help me out a lot. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out.